Yeah, this is the kind of RV uh, fixing fixer upping that I can handle because it's, you know, it's a little smaller. It's really like what three feet a little long. Easier to paint. Okay. Hey guys, welcome to another day at the Norps. We're just outside the thrift store. There's been this Barbie RV there, a little motor home, or a big motor home, for over a month now, but it was priced at $50 and kind of junky. Eve, our 10 year old, has been asking for a Barbie house and Barbie houses are expensive. We do name exchanges with the siblings, Esther got Eve's. And so um, we thought, well, maybe if we can talk them down on the price of the Barbie RV and then we can fix it up, that can be Eve's Christmas present and satisfy her need for a Barbie house. So I pushed, they said, nope, we can't mark it down. Then they said, okay, we can take $5 off, um, which I was like, come on. And I, anyways, they gave me $10 off. So it was still $40. I'm going to subsidize it. Esther's going to pay 30. I'll pay 10 and we're going to go home and we're going to clean it up and I think fix it up and I thought it'd be pretty fun. Okay, <clears throat> we just got home from the thrift store where um, we grabbed this RV or this Barbie motorhome. I think it's 1970s era. If I'll, I'll Google it later and I'll put it right here what it is, but in its perfect condition, it would have some value, but I'm gonna give you a little tour of this RV. Um, and I'm not going to keep a lot of the original things on, you know, we are going to paint it and do some things to it and then salvage what we can. Um, I know that maybe some of you are collectors and you think, oh, it shouldn't be touched. But I think if you are a true collector, you know, it's not really worth anything unless it's in a good enough condition. And there are, I looked on eBay, there was a lot of them. So let's do a tour, shall we? So here we have the Eleganza 2 GMC Barbie motor home. Uh, still has its door, which is awesome. That will be well utilized. It still has its front console right there and a seat. It looks like it's missing one. Um, it's got the cookie, the stove with, you know, because everybody knows in an RV you're always baking apple pies, souffles, and muffins. Got some of these original stickers on the walls. This original upholstery I believe we will be painting. It's got a shower here, but the shower door is missing. We might have to make a little shower curtain. Um, and then we've got this back kitchenette area um, and where Barbie does her makeup, it looks like, and some of these fun original stickers. This top deck is here. Um, you can see there's some, I don't know if that's mold. This goes to something, I'm not exactly sure. Oh, you know what, I think it's the table. Um, that somehow connects here. I'll have to look at that. And then this is some sort of bunk back here. Um, I'll have to look. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with that yet. So the first thing to do is really take out all of the stuff inside, pop it out, and then I'm probably going to clean it up and decide what I'm gonna do about all of these stickers. If I'm going to be keeping these original stickers, if I'm gonna be printing out new ones to go on those spots um, or not, I'm not sure yet.
must dear, tell you. Dear friend. Krylon, color master, versus, versus Rust-Oleum. Head to head. Ultra cover paint and primer. I'm like angry that this can exist <laughs> while this exists, because this is so good. It like, come like, it is like five times better than this. It lasted longer, it was easier to spray. Look at this. What they do to your finger on this one. Oh. This is so comfortable and so easy. And like it, it, this one, this came out thicker, but ran less. So this would come out thinner, but then you get all sorts of runs from it. Mm. Um, Rustoleum knows what they're doing. Yeah, dude. Over if you're there. gonna go buy spray paint, get this brand. And it was cheaper too. I don't get it. Really, I don't get it. Those so, people over there. The spray paint is pretty much done. Um, I mean, you can like keep doing this forever. Cause You're just having fun I now. Know, it feels good with this one. Okay, um, it's good. You don't need to. Okay, but the thing that needs, so it's all painted. <laughs> um, all the paint looks good from the accessories. The sinks look so real. I love it. They look like metal. See that? That does look really good. Um, I thought about doing the counters a different color. If I do anything, I might actually just like put paper on them, glue that on. Mm. But this is all done. And while that dries, I can, I guess, well, I just have to wait till it dries because next step I think is to put the furniture in and start adding the accessories in. It was really that simple. It was The hardest part was just the paint and all the nooks and crannies. Yeah, this is the kind of RV uh, fixing, fixer upping that I can handle because it's, you know, it's a little smaller. Three, like what, three feet a long? Easier to paint. Yeah, if you guys didn't know, we have fixed up two RVs now. So this is pretty fun to do one that's this tiny. <laughs> okay, so the painting is done and dry. And now we're gonna start putting all the components back together. We're going to um, see what we need to make as far as like pillows or blankets or curtains or anything. We will then start applying, we got some stickers to go on the inside and on the outside. And yeah, we're gonna see it come together now. When all is done so tomorrow morning i just need to finish the tires and i will give you guys the full before and after tour so we are finally done with the rv and it is far exceeded my expectations of where it could be and it's one one of the funnest projects i've ever worked on so i thought i would walk you step by step first through what we did uh, like because i think i went quickly through a lot of that and we made some changes along the way and then I'll give you kind of the before and after, you know, swooping tour. So come on in and I'll show you. Let's start actually on this side. Um, it, this is the little deck. We, um, I'm just gonna take it off because it, and I'll explain more about that later. Because who cares? Um, but if you see on the underside, that is the original yellow right here, if you remember. We popped the wheels off, took, all of the components out, well, several were missing, but we still had quite a few and we painted everything. So remember I spray painted this white um, and the inside white, I mean, and, and uh, then the, the all the furniture, this pink color. So come on over. Yeah. Then the next thing we did is we found these stickers at the craft store and we applied them as the decals on the outside. They're not perfect but I think they look great, especially for how much, you know, you're gonna be playing with it and thinking about it. Also the fact that Trip is spelled Y in here for some oh, reason. Oh, I know. Who well, knows why that the is. next thing is we mm -hmm. use, you, anytime it's a shiny sticker, that's another one from the craft store. Mm. Um, and those are really fun, but what I thought of afterwards was that I have labels and I have a printer. And so if you're gonna do a project like this, I would suggest you go get the full page labels or sticker paper and just create them yourself. Um, and so I've, I have an account with like an online uh, stock 
photo Sorry, photo illustration site. It's like, what, $4, $12 a month or something. And I use it for church stuff usually. But I did find these little things. I changed the color so it would kind of match her colors. I thought it was kind of cute that it was spelled wrong. Adventure Mountain Trip. Mike <laughs> thinks it's kind of weird. Let me show you some other things I made with labels. Come on up and we'll look from above. Um, I made a little map for this. I made the stove top. I made this upholstery here, as you can see. I think that's pretty fun. Oh, look, I got a little ripped right there. Um, I also glued this onto this spot. It was a table mm. with no legs mm. for the couch. And then the, the chair was missing here because it used to have two. So I went ahead and just made a little bench seat. I made some, you know, hanging plants, which I think was really cute. If you remember in the original stickers, there were some hanging macrame plants. We made kitchen mitts and a mixer. We did a TV. I don't know if it looks like a TV to most people, but it has Eve's oh. favorite Barbie show, Barbie Dreamhouse. My favorite thing we did with the label maker was this closet, though. Um, we, we printed out some shoes for the floor, and then we found this. It was just perfect. And then more macrame. Uh, this is a cork-like paper that's sticky on the back. and made a cork board for her here. We did a bathroom vanity in there. The original did have something like that. So we did the bathroom vanity out of the stickers. We did the tile floor. We bought paper to do that, but then I realized I didn't have to glue it and fit it perfectly. It was a lot easier just to use a label because it was had the pre-stuck back. We did some things on the shelves, like a box and things. These were the stickers and they're pretty cute. Um, this right here, I actually used in my true RV renovation as um, my headboard and it's just like a vinyl wood paper and uh, it's not perfect, but it works. So that's pretty much what we did with the stickers, the labels. The next thing that we did, we painted this pink color and then I came back in with some felt. I found this at the, the craft store. I cut it to size to fit as her little rug here. And then I made a pillow out of one of the edges to match. I made some other felt <laughs> pillows, really simple, just hot glued edges. It's still got little bits of hot glue on it, stuffed with cotton balls. Um, Real cotton. Yeah. I did also, this used to be right here, a, you know, back in the 70s when it came out, this was double bunks. One bunk was missing and this one was really flimsy. So I stabilized this and then I created a back out of cardboard and um, felt. And then I made a couple of pillows so that she can have it be a little bunk, you know, a little bed or a little sofa if she wants. Um, I spray painted the sinks and the steering wheel out of a metallic so mm. that it looked a little bit more realistic. Kids love stuff like that. I like your hanging basket there. I did make a little macrame hanging basket. I got this mm -hmm. wood at the store. I used this was from an old plant. And, and then uh, just some, you glued it, right? Yep, glued it all together. I made, <clears throat> I used um, some flannel that I had for embroidery projects and made a shower curtain. And we used some dowel to glue in, so that's fun. And then that's pretty much it. Oh, we also, like it has this deck that goes on top. In the original, it had a couple of lawn chairs and a really cute mid-century mid table that mm. went with it and really cute little components. And there is a video online on YouTube of a guy who has everything from this original um, RV. Oh, we also spray painted the ladder. We used the same decals in there um, and we used some decals yeah. for that. But I think it's fun. You know, Asher pointed out that it fits here perfectly so it could be a little landing oh, spot. Yeah. Um, I did love the way these stickers look because our RVs always have these little labels. Those like medallion type things on there. Yeah. So if you didn't know, I think I might've already mentioned it, but in case I haven't, we have, oh, we have renovated two RVs. So it was actually really fun. No, we renovated three now, Megan. Yep. Yeah, there you go. Three. Oh, and then we use a label maker to make the tires. So that's it. It's super fun. Um, it, I mean, it's still very solid and it's rolls and, you know, this door doesn't feel like it's about to break. The plastic feels still very pliable and healthy. You know, sometimes old plastic doesn't gets get on brittle. Yeah, brittle. But it's still in really good condition. And, um, you know, besides the dirt and the grime, I think we've given it a new lease on life. I think this RV, if treated well, <laughs> we'll last, see. I mean, it's. It's almost 50 years old. No, it's 
maybe 43 years old. Uh huh. But you know, hopefully it could last another few decades. That'd be pretty cool, huh? Or a few weeks, depending on how it goes. So I love it. And so let's do the grand before and after tour. with our RV renovation. You can go watch our real RV renovations here on our channel. You can follow along with our family. We lived for a year full time in our RV with our nine kids. Now we just have an RV to go, you know, out several times a year, um, especially in the warmer months. So otherwise, thanks for stopping by. You can head over to our website. Please comment. Let us know if you had this RV. One of the thing, anything that was your favorite or anything you think would have made it easier. And uh, don't forget to subscribe. We'll talk to you later. Bye.